Oh, hi everyone, Rob Howitt, RJH Motorbike Training. A short video today regarding the riding test report series. Um, and uh, today I am looking at um, section item number 13, which is moving off. Please subscribe to the channel um, and like the channel and comment away because we are going through the whole of the driving, uh, the riding test report series and explaining them. But today I want to look at moving off. Um, watch the video further because I will be showing live footage of all of the exercises. Um, Today's clips will be moving off on a flat and normal moving off exercise. I will also be uh, showing you a live footage of an angle moving off behind a station vehicle as an example, and also moving off on a gradient. So we'll be looking at a hill start. Ultimately, on your module two tests, you need to be showing that you can do these safely, and you need to be showing that you can do these in control. So my live footage will be showing you how to do that, and I am also going to introduce the POM, P-O-M. I'm not going to explain that at this moment. I will explain that as I am doing it on the live uh, the videos. So watch the videos, watch it a little bit further. I will show you these live ones. Please do comment away below if you've got any questions, like the video, subscribe. Very important if you don't mind to subscribe. So watch it a little bit further. Okay, so we're going to get our first moving off exercise. So the examiner asks you to find somewhere safe and pull over on the left. And you need to do that safely. And you need to show that you're in control. So use all your module one skills. Stopping in the control position. First gear ready to move off again. Now regarding indicating to move over, indicate if you think somebody would benefit from you. And that's where your OSM, your observation signal maneuver comes into play. If you don't think anybody would benefit from the indicator, then don't indicate. Your examiner, you don't need to indicate your examiner. It's just other road users. So move off flat, somewhere safe, race curb, not blocking any driveways, no road markings. I've stopped in control position, first gear. I'm going to introduce the POM to move away. That's prepare, observe, maneuver. So I'm going ready to move off. Got my bite point, everything's ready, prepared. Observe, I'll look over the left mirrors, looking over my right shoulder, maneuver. No need to indicate and very important when you're moving away that you don't interfere with any other road user. So make sure that observations is very, very good. If in doubt, do not. So you don't want to interfere with any other road user. Very important. If you do interfere with another road user, then we're going to have problems. So another exercise is where he will ask you to pull up behind a vehicle and he'll speci specify the vehicle. As an example, the white, um, the white uh, United Utilities van in front. Now you need to allow a couple of bike lengths. You do not want to get too close. Remember your OSM PS. L on approach, so indicate if somebody would benefit from the indicator. Remember to turn your indicator off when you've pulled over. You don't want to move off with your left indicator on. So I've stopped in control. I'm in the control position. I'm in first gear. And uh, it's a simple moving off exercise. Now, whilst I'm here waiting, I'm checking my mirrors. There's nothing at all coming up from behind. But I'm going to look over my left shoulder. And over my right shoulder now, I cannot see in front of the white van. So what I'm going to do, I've spotted a car coming up behind, so I'm waiting. I'm going to do what we call a peep and creep. Because if I move away on an angle start, I'm going to be towards a white line or over the white line on the other side. If I interfere and make somebody coming towards me slow down, then I'm going to pick up a serious fault because I've made somebody 
change speed or position. So looks okay there. So I'm just going to move forward. I'm not committing. You can see that. Yep. Look now. Looks great. Nice and clear. And away I go. So what you don't want to do is rush it. Okay. If you rush it and move away, make somebody slow down, change position because of you, you're going to pick up the faults. So if you can't see, get yourself into a position that you can see. Okay, so your final moving off exercise would be on a, on a gradient, so a hill start. So very important, again, you're showing that you can move off safely and in control. So before we pull over on the left, um, we need to make sure we did, you know, apply our OSM. So observation, signal if necessary, maneuver, OSM. So if anybody would benefit from an indicator, then, then pop one on. If they won't or wouldn't, then don't, don't need to worry. Um, on a gradient, make sure that um, you've got your rear brake applied. Um, you don't want to be rolling backwards. Okay. So very important, you're showing them that you're doing it in control. So do not release your brake until you've got your bite points. Remember when you're on a gradient as well, you want a little bit more gas. So um, prepare. So yeah, a little bit more revs than normal. I've got my bite point, so the bike wants to go, but it's not because of my rear brake. That's prepare. Observe, so left to right. Good lifesaver, maneuver. And again, with the hill start, remember, as with all of the moving off exercises, do not interfere with other road users. If you interfere with other road users, then on your test result, you will have a problem. OK. OK, then, everyone. So that's uh, that's it, really. Hope you like those live videos. Um, and as I said before, comment away below. I will get back to you. Like the channel, subscribe to the channel, and uh, I will speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.